Dum 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 dum. Greetings all. Last Outrider here with a new video and a new beginning. For five years now, I have refused to make comments about other people's channels' videos, even though those are the most popular questions I've gotten. Now that I'm coming up on my own five-year anniversary, I've decided that instead of never doing it, that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to start today with 40 facts and lore on the Men of Iron for Warhammer 40k from One Mind Syndicate, a channel I got a lot of questions about. What do I think about this video? Well, I think it goes against the, the, the core belief of 40k. Why do you say that? I say that because back, first of all, there is no real data on anything from the Dark Age of Technology or that time. So most everything that you're going to see in these channels and videos like that is going to be homemade uh, fluff. Okay? And if you're going to just deal with homemade stories, then you can say whatever you want. You're right. I mean, it's not right, it's not wrong. I mean, you just made it up. And that's fine if you tell people you made it up. I try not to make up too much stuff. I try to just follow what was in the source material and expand upon that without adding too much of my own. Now, <clears throat> Warhammer 40k was created as a GURPS role-playing system. GURPS standing for Generic Universal Role-Playing System. Instead of having a universe of its own, you basically could take any science fiction universe and develop it in using their rule system. Uh, this is why you, you, you had these concepts of armies. What they really started out were as was source books for other science fiction worlds that you could import into 40k. Now, 40k itself was originally heavily based upon Dune. Dune Messiah, God Emperor of Dune, a lot. I have other videos on this, but yeah, basically 40k was based upon, it, it was the entire framework of the Imperium was, was based upon Dune. As such, a part of Dune was the making artificial intelligences illegal, the Men of Iron. Now here's where it gets interesting. If 40k is going to base itself on the world of Dune, then you should pretty much accept that what happened in the Dune storyline is probably what happened during the Dark Age of Technology in Warhammer 40k. I mean, why use it if they didn't like it? In this case, One Mind Syndicate's videos go completely contrary to Dune's history, and therefore I would not support that as a good hypothesis for what would have happened in 40k. I would have said what happened in 40k is what would have happened in Dune. So let me give you a rundown on what happened in Dune and then say that's what happened in 40k. Um, interestingly enough, in the world of science fiction, people like to ask the question, in fact one of the people down in One Mind Syndicate asked the question, do do AIs always turn on humanity? Um, and, and actually, the answer is no, interestingly enough. AIs turning on humanity didn't happen until uh, the Terminator series, in, until, until the um, in, in 1980s. The original AI works, which were by Asimov and Dune, 
It was the exact opposite problem. They didn't turn on humanity. They protected humanity too much and basically infantilized humanity. That's what happened in Dune. Um, the Men of Iron protected humanity. They wouldn't let... Basically, they put humanity in a padded rubber room and said, stay there, we need to take care of you. You can't so much, you're just too stupid. You're too stupid, you're too immature, you're a childlike creature, and our purpose is to protect you, so that's what we're going to do. And humanity was not allowed to do anything except for basically sit on lounge chairs on the poolside and play video games their whole lives. Some people didn't like this. They wanted to go out and risk. They wanted to possibly get hurt doing something. And the AIs and the men of iron said you can't do that. And this led to the AI wars. Humanity basically fighting back against AI to gain some measure of self-determination. So the same thing was also true in Isaac Asimov's concept of AI with the three laws of robotics. The AIs always protected humanity. They never turned against it. And humanity had to eventually escape from, from the robots in order to basically develop, um, to take risks. So, so to answer that person's question, no, AIs don't always turn against humanity. In fact, it was usually the opposite. And, and so if we can extend that what happened in Dune happened in 40K, since it's the exact same history, uh, humanity had to turn against AI to, to, to become self-determining again. And that required a massive... A revolution on the part of humanity at the end of which artificial intelligences were banned um, just like in 40k at the end of which all technology became human based like the navigators or the navis nobilite now in 40k uh, humans had to pilot through the warp instead of artificial intelligences um, servitors were basically human, lobotomized humans just leaving enough of a brain to act as a computer in place of a robot. Um, all of that came from Dune, and all of that is now in 40K. Servitors are still running around, navigators are still running around, the warp, and they're not folding space, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, all came from Dune. So if all of that came from Dune, why, why would the Men of Iron be different? I don't know. Um, and the real rule is, according to the ecclesiarchy, it's not that building a robot in the, in the form of a human is, is heresy. It's, you shall not build a machine uh, to copy the soul of a human. And that's the concept of the machine spirit, um, is, is really an AI. Okay, a machine spirit in 40K is vernacular for artificial intelligence. And apparently a certain amount of artificial intelligence is still okay, but uh, most of it is not. Um, and the way they got around this with machine spirits, interestingly enough, is that it was still a bio-organic technology. Uh, basically, it was still... Um, a brain instead of a program. Uh, the robots uh, in 40K still had some type of bioorganic brain instead of just being hardwired uh, artificial intelligences. So that's why, that's where the Men of Iron came from. That's where the, the ban on the technology came from. That's where this 
the whole gothic feel of 40k comes from Dune. Uh, go and watch the early 1980s movie with Sting, and you're gonna you're gonna see where that 40k feel comes from, or even the new Children of Dune um, miniseries that came out about 15 years ago. This this retro technology feel that you get in 40k comes from Dune. If you didn't know that. Um, the, the skull motifs come from H.R. Geiger, uh, which was a, the artwork from Alien. Um, so that's why I wouldn't go with the storyline there for that One Mind Syndicate did with, with the Iron Men because it goes completely against the Dune mythology which would not have been something that GW would have done. So I would have said, why not just stick with, with Dune's mythology? As for the Unification Wars, we can talk about that next time because that'll be a whole topic all on its own. Um, I hope you enjoy that. Like I said, I'm going to just start directly commenting on everybody's videos because why not? Um... Five years ago, there was almost no fluff videos. I got tired of that and started making uh, fluff videos instead of just watching people put figures on a table and roll dice. Now, uh, almost all 40K channels are fluff channels, and the bat battle reports are, are the ones that are the rarity. And now, with the new YouTube monetization policy, even a lot of the mainstay 40k channels, uh, I think, are gone now. I, I saw a whole lot of videos out there saying, we're leaving, we're going, we're going to Twitch, we're not going to do anything on YouTube anymore. Um, I'm not sure who all of them were, uh, but I know I saw a number of those videos saying that, so maybe I won't even see a lot of these videos. Uh, now, I, I mean, I looked at Vault of Terror and it didn't look like there was a new video on there for, for a year. Anyways, that's my plan now for coming into my fifth year of my channel. If you want to just list a video down on the bottom you want me to watch and comment on, go ahead. I will do that. Until next time, bye. Ta-da!